So now we're going to take a look at Corner Strike. Um, and it, within the last, like, I would say three, four years, this play hasn't really been very good at beating man coverage at all. It's been pretty good against zone coverage. Um, but against two man under in this game, it does really, really well. Um, and I think it's just because it automatically puts the corners in trail coverage. So if you see a lot of two man under, um, this play can actually get you some pretty big yards. Now, of course, slot apprentice, if you have them, I, I like to put them on this crossing route or you need another short route or something. whatever, you, you know, this is kind of your free guy. You can do something like that or whatever the case may be. But the real point um, of using this play is obviously the C routes. <clears throat> so the C routes aren't going to get pressed. And look at that separation. The separation is absolutely nuts. You know, it does it on both sides, too. It's a little bit better on the, the trio side of the field. Because the safety like will come over and kind of get in the vicinity, but still, I mean, that's a lot of separation against two man under. So we use this against two man under quite a bit, um, and then obviously if they shade outside, that's why we have this um, or this or you know a combination of, of some of them, right? Something like that maybe. Um, or you could even do this if you want the dual like if you want crossing routes essentially meshing over the middle of the field, then you could do something like that. But the real, the real bread and butter of this is obviously the sea routes. <clears throat> so those are fantastic. Um, against zone coverage, still the right side of the field, very, very good. Actually, both sides of the field now um, with this kind of this wheel meta thing. Um, so like if you wheel the halfback on the solo side on the sea route, um, it'll actually get this sea route open. There you go. Yeah, because like that corner kind of has to pay attention to the wheel route as well. So if they're in zone, you kind of just pass like that down and away. And you can kind of fit that one in. Um, this is a nice little trick because a lot of times people will like if you run, if I were to run this combination with the other play, right, and then I go to corner strike, they might man up Jerry Rice and. That would be a problem if he was running the corner route, but now Tyreek Hill is running the C route, which effectively is the corner route, and even against a cloud flat, that still gets in there. Now, it is not good against those 30-yard flats, those um, the zone drops people have been putting in, so it'll you'll end up throwing right at that flat, so just keep that in mind. It's not something you can kind of fit over their head. It's just not deep enough, um, and they just they read it very well. But, the, you know, the specific use case for this, right, is you want to beat, like, a cover three or cover four zone, and you want to beat two men under. Um, of course, you have the halfback table route. Don't forget about that. If the user just completely neglects the halfback in his man assignment, then obviously this is a really quick, easy win. Uh, I'm not going to go over that too, too much. <clears throat> um, you can also, against main coverage, you can motion this guy out. Like, say you wanted to do whip. Like this. Tight end whip route. Also very good. That's why I like this formation a lot. It's pretty versatile. You can do a lot of different cool motions. Um, and if you understand the concepts on how to beat certain coverages, you can have a lot of success. And you can really, really frustrate your opponent. I remember specifically, I've played so many guys. They would start out in cover zero. I would beat them with the slot go, uh, the slot cross play. They would go into two man under. I'd beat them with this play. <laughs> And it would just go on and on and on, and we would just be uh, just absolutely dotting up uh, man coverage, and they just would not know what to do. Uh, now, this next play is going to be um, one that I almost solely use for beating man coverage. Uh, I know this has been a lot of focus on man coverage. It just happens to be it's either man coverage or zone, like zone drops at 30. That's all you're going to see. You're not going to be seeing a lot of variety um, online besides that. But this next play does a really good job against two men under and any press coverage. 